Tyler's making fun of my dress, but Tyler's been wearing the same shirt for three weeks. Since VidCon. Hello friends and welcome to another video. This week I'm going to be dressing in outfits completely from the website Wish. So Wish is a website and app that I've often seen on my Facebook feed that features incredibly discounted items including a lot of clothing. Now, I personally have been a little bit hesitant to order clothes from this site just because it seems like it's a little too good to be true. Like the things I would get might not be what I saw in the pictures, but I got a lot of requests from you guys and I'm also incredibly curious myself. So I decided to order an entire week's worth of outfits from Wish and see how they are. Not necessarily shoes and accessories, but all the body clothing. I want to see if I can find seven outfits. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm opening up the Wish site right now. So right away, I'm seeing like a decent amount of clothes, shoes, a few fidget spinners. It looks like a glow in the dark shower head. It seems to me like the clothes on Wish range from about one to $10. I'm not gonna limit myself to just like the $5 stuff, but I have a feeling that most of these things are gonna be around $5. So I'm sorry for the slight clickbait, you guys. Okay, I feel like I have to start somewhere. I like these pants. These are like jogger sweatpants with some rips in them. Something I do appreciate is that they have like ratings and reviews like right on the product. Some people are like one star all the way, but a lot of other people are like four or five stars. Oh, here's a sizing chart. I'm going to get a large and I'm going to get them in black. That's one pair of pants down. So I need a top. I do like this lace shirt. This is the Zoffel New Woman Plus Size Lace Long Sleeve Sexy See-Through Blouse Tops. People like this. Four stars and it has 4,000 reviews. People say to order a size up, but generally people are into it. I'm gonna go with the large. I don't have big boobs anyway. I'm going with the black. I promise not everything I buy will be black, but that top looked so cute in black I had to. All right, so that's outfit one. This is interesting. This is a summer autumn women casual long sleeve chiffon dresses ladies fashion v-neck t-shirt loose short dress tops. They're just trying to fit like every keyword in that title. This has a decent amount of reviews and it has three and a half stars. There's no sizing chart and not a lot about the sizes in the reviews. So I'm gonna size up and get an eight just because I would rather that it's bigger than smaller. How about the gray? That sounds exciting. All right, I'm gonna add that to my order. Outfit to a chick. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, this looks like a hoodie dress. I actually at one point in my life was searching for a hoodie dress and I saw images of this thing on Amazon, but I was too nervous to buy it. I was nervous that it wouldn't look like the picture because it was so cheap. Let's take a look. She looks very hip and cool. Interesting, okay, this also has three and a half stars and it has 5,000 reviews. A lot of the, the people who are upset say it's too small. So I'm just gonna just order up. I love this one. She just says, whack. It seems like all the other colors pretty much are sold out except for black. So I think that I might get to buy black. Okay, so that is three outfits down. All right, let's take a look at this. This is a new summer women fashion solid off-shoulder t-shirt casual short sleeves blouse loose tee tops black white. This has a two and a half star rating. It looks nothing like the picture. It's just a white Hanes t-shirt. <laughs> nice shirt, but it isn't an off-the-shoulder shirt, more of just a plain t-shirt type shirt. I think we have to see what this is. It seems like everyone's saying that if you want it to be off the shoulder, you need it to be really big. So I'm gonna get the extra large. I like everyone was like, this is just a white tee shirt do not buy and I'm like yes buy so if this is gonna be off the shoulder it would be cool to put something underneath oh yes this is what I want this is like one of those really cute like cropped like bralette tops for one dollar this has four stars with 3,000 reviews and it's like just right like no one said that it was too small or too large oh it's one size that's why that makes sense all right let's add that in so we just need a bottom for this outfit Ooh, let's get a pair of jeans. This should be interesting. This has also three and a half stars with a thousand reviews. I'm gonna go with large. The jeans are $11. So on the more expensive side of the things that we've got already, oh, it's $14. Okay, never mind. They were $11 to begin and now they're suddenly $14. So I guess that's fine. Outfit for a chick. 
It is cool to see like who's buying what. I guess the strategy would probably be to go for the things that more people bought. Ooh, look at this jumpsuit. I've seen one exactly like this at Urban Outfitters. I almost bought it, I think like a year ago. I would buy this for $6 for sure. Made out of balloon material. Material is like a swimsuit. What on earth is this thing? I'm gonna get a large um, and I'm gonna get it in army green. How about? So that is outfit five. I could search something. I have just been scrolling. Maybe we could try something like a skater skirt and see what happens. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Oh, look at this. It's one of those skater skirts that has like little suspenders. People like this. It's got four stars, but only 20 reviews. Not a lot of people are saying too small. A lot of people are saying too large. I'm gonna buy a medium, but it is kind of a nerve wracking decision. I think that they have the right idea to just style it with like a white t-shirt. I love this. I ordered a black extra large, but I got a white medium tank top that has words on it. Someone says I got a 4X and it appears to be a toddler medium. If you aren't sure about what size you want, go one size up. I feel like let's just go with that. So I'm gonna get a large in this. Okay, and that is outfit six. Ooh, this top is really cute and it's almost gone. I need it. It's like a little cleavage top. I have none of that. It's called summer fashion, women, casual, sexy mesh, V-neck blouse, sleeveless tops, t-shirt vest. Wow. A lot of people think it fits just right. I'm just gonna get a medium this time around and see what happens. What's the difference between black and cool black? Should I get a cool black just to see what that means? All right, so let's look for a bottom for this outfit. There is a tab that says bottoms. Ooh, those jeans are questionable. Here's something. So four stars, one written review. It's not a lot of information. So this is probably the riskiest purchase yet. I'm gonna get it in a large. And that rounds out the last outfit. All right, I think that is seven outfits. A lot of the like estimated arrival times are like well over a month away. So it's gonna take me a while to get these things, but I'm incredibly excited to see what they are. Some of their reviews were all over the place. And it also seems like sometimes people don't get exactly the item they ordered. Like not just, it didn't look like the picture, like this is a completely different item. So we'll see. But if any of these things are good, they were a great deal. So. Let's see what happens. That is a lot of $5 clothing. So it's been about a month and a half and these things have been slowly trickling in. Um, but I think I finally have everything. This is a mess. So I took on the pile, hung everything up. There were a couple of things I felt like I didn't recognize, but we'll get to that when I, you know, like try and put them on. So I started off with this green billowy jumpsuit thing. Okay, so here is the jumpsuit on. In the reviews, people were kind of weirded out by this thing. They said it was giant and also maybe made out of balloon material. But when I got it, it was pretty cute and soft out of the bag. I am kind of loving this. I think that there's a couple of things that are a little odd. I thought these were pockets at first, but they're just kind of like wings. Like there's some wings around the thighs, like MC Hammer pants style, and some strange ruching around the calves. But aside from that, it fits pretty well. I put a belt on it just to add some shape to it. And I also wore Birkenstocks to match the kind of like Earth Mama vibes I was getting from it. I just look very comfortable and I feel comfortable, but I also look comfortable. It was definitely hot outside, but the fabric was pretty thin and flowy. Got a lot of breeze waves for the air to travel through. The fabric did cling to my butt a little bit. A couple of crevices were spotted. But besides that, I was pretty impressed by this. When you weigh the pros and cons, like the price versus the thigh fins, like yeah, evens out pretty much, I think. So outfit number two was this sweatshirt dress that I was super excited about. I thought that this dress looked like what was shown on the website, but it did fit a little awkwardly. There was some bulk like around the middle because of the pockets, and it was a little bit shorter than I expected, especially in the thigh slit area. Okay, so we're at the mall right now. I think the style of the dress is fine. I think like besides the pockets, like it's a cute dress. It's just so warm. It's not terry cloth. It's, it's like a ski fleece. So it could work really well like with tights and boots in a winter climate but in July in California it's just like even inside the mall I'm feeling warm. It's confusing because my legs aren't covered. They're so warm. Overall I wouldn't say I got scammed with this dress. Like I did get what I ordered but I didn't like it as much as I hoped that I would. It just didn't fit me right. It was a little too hot and it's a bit of a tight hood so you've got a little bit of the South Park effect. <laughs> so outfit number three was my white off the shoulder top, black bralette, 
and distressed jeans. Okay, so here is this outfit on my body. I like the straps on the top of the bralette and I actually can fit into these jeans pretty effectively. The top was not just a plain white Hanes t-shirt as the reviews had suggested, but it didn't show off as much of the bralette as I wanted it to. It was also a little bit bulkier than I expected. There were a few more folds and flops than I had hoped for. That said, it was all pretty comfortable to wear and I didn't really notice that I was wearing Wish clothing throughout the day. I'm liking it so far. My only complaint is that these pants are riding down. And I feel like if I tug on the belt loops, they're gonna just come off. I would maybe not wear all of these things at the same time again. I feel like I looked a little bit like a mid 2000s Jessica Simpson. It also looks like you're hosting TRL. It's the sleeves that bring out that like late 2000s vibe. But the individual items were pretty good. Day four brought us face to face with the only item that I actually did not recognize when it arrived. So I did not remember ordering a pair of black pants, but I did remember ordering some distressed sweatpants. I think these are them. The way I identified that I hadn't actually received a completely wrong item was the rips in the pants. But this definitely isn't what I thought that I had ordered. They were supposed to be sweatpants, but they feel like almost like a swimsuit a little bit. I was just so surprised by the material of them. These things are like crepe, like an inedible, very thin cloth pancake. They're neither sweatpants nor jeans, nor pants, nor leggings. They're like fake clothing. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like, it's like doll clothes. That said, the top was super cute and it looks a lot like the pictures. At first I put it on backwards because there's no tag anywhere. Let me just humor myself. Let me just- You turn it around again? But once I got it on right way front ways, things started going well. Okay, this feels better. So while the pants were kind of a fail, the top was one of my favorite things that I got. I feel like they scammed me with the pants and I scammed them for the top. So outfit five was my little suspender skater skirt and white crop top. Okay, so here is this outfit. The skater skirt was really a cute style, but I just didn't love the fabric. So I had left the skater skirt hanging for a while because when it came out of the bag, it was like super wrinkly, but the folds did not come out. So we drove down to Disneyland. The car was not not super kind to my skirt. Why? It's a little more wrinkled than when you last saw me, oh, man. which was already a little wrinkled to begin with. I kind of wish it was more of like a jersey type fabric, and this is more of just like a crinkly something something. After walking around for a while, it's a little bit humid. I think my wrinkles are coming out. Maybe not entirely, but. Besides that, I thought that the skirt and the top were pretty cute together. And I would say that the crop top was a pretty solid buy. I am glad that I listened to reviews and sized up though. A plus on this crop top. I feel like both items pretty much look like the photos. With Wish, it can just be hard to tell what the fabric is gonna be like before it gets to you. So you kind of get what you get. Do you see my underwear? No. Oh, that's good. So outfit six was my mesh top and denim skirt. Now the skirt was definitely my riskiest buy because there was only one written out review. I would say that it fit like width wise, but it was a little bit longitudinally challenged. Like my butt ends here. I actually think from the front, like it's not that short. It's just that the back gets shorter. The only thing is I feel like I'm kind of like walking with my thighs close together just to not move the skirt too much. Though I think for something with no reviews, I did get an actual skirt and not just like a puff of smoke and a stolen credit card. So the top I liked okay. It definitely does look like the photo. This is pretty close to what I expected. It's not a perfectly fitted shirt. Like there's some emptiness right here. I thought that it fit pretty well, though it does feel like swimsuit material. It feels like with Wish, like even if it looks like what I expected it to look like, there's always just like something that's a little bit off. I think most of my focus was on the length of the skirt, but besides that, the outfit was pretty comfortable to wear around. Now, outfit seven was wrinkle apocalypse. I'm sure that if you steamed this, it would be less wrinkly but I can't find my steamer. But I did leave this hanging for a week and I also did the steamer shower trick and pretty much none of the wrinkles had come out by the time I put it on. I just look like I've been sleeping in this for a few days, huh? Maybe should I put, put a belt on it, would that help? I really do like how it's longer in the back, but I don't love how it randomly cupped my booty. Like it's supposed to be kind of like a straight down sheath dress and there was a little like, Cuppage. I will say that there's nothing wrong with the comfort of this dress. It feels just a little bit like I'm wearing a sheet. It was, however, a pretty light and breezy dress for a hot summer's day. It's easy and breezy up in my crotch easy. 
Inappropriate. And maybe if you were living somewhere humid, the wrinkles would come out on their own. So that was my wish haul. It's definitely a crapshoot, and I don't know if I know how to navigate Wish any more now than I did before. I do think there is some stuff on Wish that is a very good deal. The reviews are almost always all over the place, so you kind of just have to go with your gut. And I'm actually really psyched about the stuff that I found that I liked because it's kind of like finding the diamond in the rough. So my favorites were the green jumpsuit, the black sheer lacy shirt, the black bralette, and the white crop top. But if I had any advice for people shopping on Wish, tops are more of a sure bet, skirts and dresses were a little shorter than I expected, and I think that sizing up usually helps. Also, if you see a pair of cool distressed sweatpants, do not buy them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've bought anything from Wish before, let me know in the comments below. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Ivy for watching. Thank you for watching Ivy and I will see you guys a next time.